Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. It's your boy Nugs. What's going on? Today it's Monday, start of the week. It's 11 o'clock. So I just started my Dash. I started Uber Eats and Instacart as well. So far, nothing really good. Last Monday was absolutely crazy for me. I did really well. So Tony, if you're watching this, bro, give me some good luck. I put free publicity out there to get Dashers on the road. And the least you can do is send me some good orders. So, Alrighty, and speaking of good orders, I don't know if this is good it's $12 for 6.6 .6 miles but it's Popeyes and it's two orders I don't know if you guys would take that but call me a clown I'm just gonna start it off I'm just gonna take it I mean it can't be that bad right let's say that takes me 30 minutes 12 bucks is not too bad so let's go pick it up hopefully Popeyes isn't slammed yeah you guys might shit on Popeyes and say they're super slow and all but I just got this both these orders in like five minutes so not even bad at all also I got an instacart order that I didn't take so you guys who are good with like instacart and do it a lot let me know if I should have taken it. I saw the 49 items and I didn't think it was worth unassigning this Popeye stack to just go do the Instacart, but let me know if you thought I should have. At Echo Park, huh? and, I, and I've been by. I feel like when the two of us talk. Alrighty guys, for those last two orders, it was crazy. I took an Uber as I was still completing my Instacart order because they were both going to the same place. Like that is so convenient when you have two orders from two different apps and they're going to the same place, same turn and everything. Anyways, I just took a Wendy's order, so call me a clown, but it's pretty damn good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. I really should have learned my lesson. <laughs> oh my goodness. Their lobby's closed and it looks just about like this right now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna unassign it. Alrighty guys, we have a Walgreens order right here and it's three items so we have to shop for it and it's gonna feel so weird going shopping. It's gonna feel so easy only getting three items. It's gonna be like my birthday after doing all of this Instacart. Start shopping. Uh, look at that. It's only two items too. Man, this is gonna be easy. This was going to be so easy, right? Did you hear my confidence? But then I remember why I don't take Walgreens orders because it seems like they seriously never have anything the customer wants. So I tried to contact the customer and they didn't respond to any texts, any calls. So I feel really bad because I actually got paid $20 <laughs> to deliver uh, a case of water, but life goes on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, it's about 2.30 right now, so I'm gonna take like a 30 minute break. I grabbed another battery for my camera, by the way. I make this mistake a lot when I go out dashing for like these super long shifts where I'm like making so much money where I don't take a time for myself to eat anything, and that's really not good for me. So I'm gonna just take like 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, right now I think we're at $92 for three and a half hours, which is really damn good. But anyways, I'll see you guys in half an hour. I just took a Walmart order, it's freaking nuts. Walmart is coming in clutch today. I love the ones where they come out to you. It's like, sometimes Walmart can feel like the pay of an Instacart order, but like without any of the work. Walmart, baby, here I come. Let's see, we're on spot number one. He was number one. Alrighty guys, he came out with the Walmart order, so it's in my trunk, but he, put, he gave me the eggs up front, so me and the eggs can have our special romantic moment. But that might be short lived because we do have to bring this to the customer's house. Alrighty guys, we have an Instacart batch from Kroger. It is $15 and some change. It's 17 items as you can see. So I thought that wasn't too bad. This one wasn't very big, so it didn't take me very long at all. Big boy came in clutch and big boy let me pee. So that's nice. Uh, dude, this smells so good though. I'm not even hungry and this shit makes me hungry. I've never had Big Boy though. If you guys have, let me know. Is it good? Alrighty, we got White Castle. It's 9.75 going five miles. Um, I really never take White Castle, but I couldn't really pass this up. Woo, yeah, baby! It's raining, baby! 
I actually, okay, I know a lot of you guys agree with me on this. I actually like when it rains because I feel like more people order food. So uh, it used to be where they'd give us peak pay when it rained, but they're being very stingy. So hopefully we do get more orders though. Alrighty guys, I just picked up a stack that was really, really good. It's about eight miles for $17.50. Um, so possibly more as well, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty guys, so it says I'm here, but like, I'm in the middle of a road. No houses. But there's a house on the other side of these bushes, so I don't know if that's where they're... I'm gonna try and call them real quick and see if maybe that's where they're at. Uh, I hate calling customers because I know it can annoy them, but like... But I, won't, I don't want to trespass if like... I mean, this isn't a proper entrance, and I, I just scouted the area, and there's no back road, so hold on. Hello, this is your uh, DoorDash driver, Isaac. I think I just arrived. I took the road out from like... Uh, so you are, you're here. It's up to you however you want to do it, but you could park where you are and just kind of come through the through the yard and... Um... Yeah, that's fine. I didn't want to like uh, just walk in your yard or whatever if I didn't get oh, permission no, yeah, first. Oh, so. perfectly fine. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll be there in just a second. Alrighty guys, I just picked up a McDonald's order. It's like 650, but it's only going a mile. But anyways, I need to get some gas, so you know I gotta plug my get up side. It's not sponsored and they don't pay me anything besides what I make from obviously me getting gas and my referral links. But get up side is just a app that you can get where you get cash back if you sign in with whatever card you have. In this case, I'm using the Dasher Direct because I also get cash back from DoorDash. So I really, I'm using this to get double cash back. But anyways, like I said, get upside I'll leave a link in the description you can get like 15 cents or more back per gallon when I very first started DoorDash that's something I used before I even had this big channel it's really been a lot of help but anyways let's get gas look at this I was just looking at Uber's app like just to look okay and it says watch video how to wear a face cover or a mask so does Uber think like we're fucking idiots <laughs> I mean I mean we are but are they gonna put a video in there on how to wipe my ass are they gonna put a video on there of which pant leg you're supposed to put on first okay okay I think you get the point man I just wasted so much time I'll take Popeyes hopefully Popeyes is better than McDonald's this order should put me over 200 anyways oh that was so bad with gas and getting McDonald's and all that that probably took me like I probably just wasted like 25 30 minutes what can you do about it um I'm actually just picking up a DoorDash order hell yeah I'll take that focus So you guys liked the last time I did a little rant for my videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with another one. I seriously hate when customers don't tell you that you're gonna need a code to get into either an apartment complex or a gate. Uh, they don't put any delivery instructions. And this woman specifically got upset with me and told me she didn't know how to get in through the code system. So it took me a few attempts to get in. Uh, it, I was seriously ready to just drop it off where it was because it was a leave it at the door, but I stuck through it. Even though I typed in what she said in the door started doing this. But I did get to deliver it. Oh yeah, and this elevator, it was sketchy as hell. So if I could rate customers, I would definitely have gave her a zero out of 10, possibly lower if I could. Alrighty guys, I'm sorry about the seductive lighting again. It is almost 9.30 right now. So I ended my Dash and my Instacart and my Uber Eats. I went out today at 11 o'clock and it's 9.30 right now. So 10 and a half hours, but I took a 30 minute break to eat. So actually 
I worked 10 hours pretty much exactly on the dot. So that makes all the math here pretty simple. But hear me out, we made 158.05 on DoorDash. And then if we add what we made on Instacart and Uber Eats as well, I'll put on screen because Instacart takes like an hour to let you know how much you made. But assuming it's how much I accepted it for, we made $228.94, meaning obviously our hourly rate is $22.89 an hour, and which is really good. And we drove 129 miles, so Again, that's what I love about Instacart is I get to, to make all this money. And since a lot of your pay comes from obviously you doing the shopping, yeah, it's our dollar per mile is crazy. It's $1.77 per mile, which is really good. With how much we made, we only spent $12.90 because this car is so damn efficient. Man, this was just a crazy day. This is gonna take me so long to edit. <laughs> I got so much footage. Oh my goodness. All right, like the video, subscribe. You know what to do. I'm taking Tuesday off. I'm taking Tuesday to get this video done and a few more things. But I am gonna hit a thousand bucks this week. That's my goal. Anyways, like I said, like the video, subscribe.